Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would uh, do a uh, test on the new SCAR POI. I think I got it mostly ready now. Um, got one little thing I'll explain when I go that I might make a change on yet. Um, it has to do with uh, where the core placement is and when you shut down the core in the progress of going down and going through the base. Um, I'm going to use uh, this uh, prototype unfinished uh, TIE Fighter scar thing right now to uh, to do the deed here take out the enemy turrets and things like that um, so I've got this loaded up with ammo uh, everything else um, don't mind the placement of this armor locker I had to put that in special so I could get some epic armor so I got all the best gear too to make it uh, easy because I'm a little wimp um, but anyway um, Without further ado here, let me uh, hop in here a minute, and I'm going to try to put this in third person too. I normally would attack these kinds of things in first person, but uh, I'm going to try it third person this time. Um, one last thing too, uh, I, don't, I want to turn on the shield, because I'm really wimpy. Nah, nah. Eh. Just don't want to mess up my uh, ship here. So currently, I'm not at uh, enemies with a scar, so we're gonna piss them off pretty quickly, I think. And uh, maybe sh sh shoot some stuff down here. How about a drone? That'll piss them off, right? Yeah, yeah. Be pissed. Be pissed. You're gonna back off. Get into rockets, and let's try to get some of these. Oh, geez, shields. Did I never even let my shield charge? I'm gonna just back away a second. And I'm also kind of curious too on how the how the uh, SV turrets actually respond and function um, in game. Are they powerful enough to do any uh, real damage? I don't mind me just letting the seal charge a second. There it goes. Uh, yeah, we're we're good enough. All right, so turret time. Try to do this as nicely as possible. Shields kind of pulled out. All right, let me back away just a second. Just curious if the uh, the turrets on the SV are going to take out any of the turrets over there or if I'm still gonna really want to be shooting them with rockets uh, just letting the stuff charge up a minute come on oh, why don't you charge come on charge that takes a while now doesn't it okay there it goes Back in here. How about we try to run these top turrets here? Okay, still got some shield. Okay, that one's out too. All right. All right. Let's just let's just continue without charging the shield. I don't think there's enough turrets to left to really do too much damage. Oh, you're still not dead. All right. There you are. Now you are. All right. Now we're actually taking some damage, but I guess I don't care, I don't care too much here. All these turrets on this thing and there's one little gun there can you guys can it take it out by itself oh you know I told these not to fire on those that's my bad I uh, I didn't want this to be randomly shooting at guns located all over the place inside the building through and try to shoot at it through the walls so I only told those turrets to fire on enemy turrets only 
So no generators or warp cores or anything else. And we got some ground stuff too. Some guys down there. Looks like some... Okay, that's dead already. We got any more turrets. So there's one little guy there. Make it as easy as possible. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, am I not hitting it? Ah, yeah, third person is weird. For this. Okay, we got that one too. So yeah, I think we uh, took out most all the uh, exterior defenses here. Oh, I see one more turret up here. What just happened? Uh, that is one thing with... Uh, there it goes. Okay. One thing with third person, too. When you get near something, it kind of wigs your view out, so it kind of throws you in the ceiling where you can't see. It's one of the reasons why I don't like to use third person so much, but I'm more of a first person nut anyway. All right, so I'm going to park this thing, and... Get out of the ship here a minute. Well, just for fun, I am going to also turn on a storm. And we're going to make it dark. Now, this isn't the right planet type. Of, uh, this, I personally think it really looks neat on like a muddy surface that's reflective when you go in here. Now, there's three different ways in. I could go through this route here, through the sewer pipe. Um, but I'm going to walk around to a different door a second. Um, I don't think there's any uh, increased difficulty going from one door to the other. Um, so we got another door over here that we can hop in. And then there's the, uh, the, the last door over on this side here. And I think I already took out the defending turret there. So let's, uh, let's head through here a minute. did get some LCDs and some store stores in here now something was just shooting there oh yeah it's right there Not hitting it no that one's really oh, come on. there it goes Oh yeah, when building this, so in this whole uh, lower area, I was really trying to get a lot of like immersion in here, especially now with the LCDs in place. Um, some of these guys aren't bad guys like him. He's not a uh, soldier, so he's just kind of a spawned in NPC. And there's a few more like that around. Oh, that's what shoot me. Another one there. Gonna try to be safe, not die. Yep, wimpy wimpy, I know. Oh, that guy just sort of jumped up on the railing there. There's your buddy. that either. Did you escape from the uh, Ripper Dogs and Bogtail Delights? 
Um, oh, hey guys. I got some outside ground ground troops around too, and there's a lot of uh, guys that can be perched in various locations. Some of them seem to get a little bit creative on how they where they get to. Let's go upstairs here a second. And get shot in the back. <laughs> oh, that's a dancer. Okay. Nope. Oh, that hurts. I think we're, uh, I think we're okay. Oh! <laughs> as, a, as another guy comes flying around the corner. Alright, shotgun to the face. There you go. Oh, that wasn't a shotgun. Alright. Oh, I got some guys down there, too. Alright. We, uh, secure here. Now how the, the spawners are set up is I had to use mostly the thin spawners that you don't see and I had to put them upside down due to you can't control one direction when setting ranges of spawners which is, makes it really kind of problematic uh, especially for something that's vertical. Um, so uh, I was talking to Ascarelli and he gave me a heads up on how to do the spawners where you have to use the thin ones and place them upside down and then you can get them to spawn how you want and have the, the right directions you can set um, in the interface for it. So, okay, I think we're secure here. So let's uh, let's get down here and go check out some of these uh, these areas here. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, I spoke way too soon. Uh, check out Ripper Dogs. Oh, hey, doggy. Oh, man, it still took out the. Uh, ah. So yeah, um, I really think, oh, where'd you come from? Jeez. I really think the uh, the steps need to have more hit points. This uh, constant, every time you blow up a doorway, you destroy the staircase kind of sucks. <coughs> Turn on jetpack a sec. Alright, so a little, uh, little restaurant here. You know, uh, Ripper rip Dogs are here are pretty tasty. <clears throat> Let's just shoot this one. And we got a uh, trader here in this uh, particular establishment, a uh, pretty small establishment. Uh, that is the Crow's Egg Supplies and Trade. And let's see, what do we got anything else down here? Oh, yeah, Plucky's Plunder. Looks like Plucky took off. Oh, Plucky's dead. So if I was friendly with the Scar, there's a number of different different shops to go to here. Basically, different uh, sales vendors. Um, so um, we've got no snout, Moe's, crazy critter chunks, and beer plus daily specials. Oh, oh, hey. Another, another vendor in here. So yeah, this whole area kind of got uh, kind of the way I wanted it to. Um, getting those uh, LCDs up there, I think that that helps a lot too. Especially if uh, if I had a muddy uh, reflective uh, ground surface at night like this, it looks really cool. You get the reflections of all these uh, texture lights and things off off from the ground. It's definitely a, a bit of an immersion factor there, or, or level of detail at least. 
Now this uh, door here, this would go out to the front, on which I kind of walked past already. Blow it up and take out the staircase as well. Um, oh, there's a, a pretty uh, unaware person out there and a dog. Okay, gotta gotta clean it up. And that one I didn't act. Oh, didn't actually see that one spawn anything. I'll switch over a shotgun here. Might get a little gnarly in here. Actually, not so bad at all. Well, no, I was kind of messing with this before. A bunch of guys spawned in here, but I think they might have already, like, spawned and then made their way down the hallway, and I killed some of them out here. Possibly. Well, let's start going up in this place. So, spider. What? Oh! Thing for these uh, insanely overpowered weapons I have. Oh, I better I better heal up too. I want to die. <laughs> I should probably do it. A little, a little food. All right. chest so this goes out to that front balcony over there um, this way kind of leads to a kind of a secret I'll show you this one oh. hey dogs I'm right here ah there you go So on how this was set up, I, I kind of showed this part a little bit earlier, but I had plans for it, and I kind of got those plans to work, I think. So basically, you have a ladder here, and it gets you up to this area, and this is just kind of getting a chest that's hard to get, and then you can kind of come along here, and the guys were supposed to spawn here. I'm wondering if they spawned already, and then you can get get access to a rare chest over here. So, and it's pretty tall. If you try to, oh, man, I thought I seen incoming fire from that way. Let's get back down here a minute. Let's see if we can safely go down the ladder. Yep. I have uh, broken legs going down the ladder before, so I'm, I'm, I'm learning to be a little safer. I don't even know what's going on. I'm hearing all kinds of ex noises. This goes out to an outer balcony over there. Well, we're just going to keep on going up this thing. Obviously, all these areas are finished off inside now, too. Ah! Problem with the uh, the fences is you can't shoot through them, but and it's not too big of a deal at all. Oh! Ow! That one hurt. Uh oh! I got some wounds. Ouch. Hold on. Ah. Yeah, I'll try to heal up here a second. Oh, 
I was getting shot from somewhere. Maybe that guy. Oh, no. Ah, you. So in this, you'll see little ladders occasionally, like this goes out to the balcony over there, which, you know, might be something there, might not be, who knows. <laughs> I better get that reloaded. A lot of guys in this area. Alright. So pretty safe here. Hey, I'm right here. Do you see me? Do you see me? No, no, you don't. Oh well. You're lost. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Hey guys. You guys didn't spawn out quite right now, did you? There's a problem. I probably had to look at that. Those guys are supposed to be on the ground. But sometimes with these upside down spawners, um, maybe that needs to be positioned out a little bit better. So. Here's my one dilemma. Obviously, here is the uh, the base core, and it's uh, easy. I could kill it right now. The problem is I'm not, not done with the base. There's a whole another section to do um, that's further up here. So that's kind of where I wanted to put in possibly switches that you have to hit along the way um, to destroy the core. Uh, essentially, what I've seen uh, Scarly do with the Creel Centrum. And that would force you to go to multiple locations in here before you can actually turn the core off. Because if I turn off the core, it kind of sucks because it kind of there's a whole other part up here. Um, and why I have the core on this level is because I could, uh, and why this floor looks so small is because I filled it in so heavily with blocks, multiple layers of uh, blocks in the area to protect the core from shooting it from the outside with a SV or, or whatnot. Um, and this is probably like the most secure place and it's also far from the ground too so um, that's not an issue but if I had the switches and a detonated explosive after you hit the switches to take out the core I could put the core somewhere else in the building probably make this area a little bit bigger and um, force the player to go to more locations and not be done with this until they get done with this so moving up um, this, this part gets interesting here. It's also, I know it's quite difficult, so I'm going to try to be safe about this. Alright, we're loaded up. Oh wow, I just dropped huge in health. Let's get me all drawn. Anything? 
Anything else here? Can I take some health and peace? So as I uh, was si there's something out here that's nasty. I know there is. I heard it swish by. Where is he? Somebody over here. No? He's messing with me. I swear there's a hidden guy here somewhere. Anyway. Um, you can walk up on this top floor and then you can uh, climb up to the crane. Just, just trying to make sure there's nobody around here that's going to shoot me as I try to do that. Alright. And this is the part, yeah, if you're scared of heights, this base is not for you or this POI. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it gets a little uh, death defying up here. Oh, someone just shot at me. Oh, what do we got? Ah! Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, jetpack. I jetpack. Okay, okay. I lived. Darn it! I fell right off the edge. Let's, um... Let's hightail it back up here a minute. See, that's why I can get very, uh, deathifying up there at the last part of this. It's that crane feature. And I like the fact too that I'm not depending on elevators. So when you walk through, um, you just keep on walking through. And if you notice, there, there's not a lot of doors either. Um, so I was just kind of trying something a little different with all, all of that. Spiders over there. Wonder where that leads. <laughs> oh. Alright, so let's try this again. Shoot at me. I think we're safe. Alright. Oh, hey, guys. Just because you're right next to the door. Let's double blow it. <laughs> Take you out. I took out a couple of your buddies. So then, yep, yeah, up into the uh, the little room in the crane, um, and that is pretty much the POI. So uh, I'm gonna go into God mode in a minute. We'll uh, zoom around down here again. Again, there's all kinds of little nooks and crannies all over the place that I've been trying to put in place. And um, definitely like the uh, the shop floor things with the LCDs now and, and all that stuff. I think it's uh, feels kind of good and it was just, uh, supposed to work. Something's messing with me out here. Uh, it's supposed to, um, supposed to work as a friendly POI as well. So that's why it's kind of doing a dual purpose. And I think either way it, it probably should, uh, should work for that. Um, there. Fix the. Oh man. There's still something around. But there it is, and uh, almost done. I'm gonna do a couple more tweaks. I've seen a couple little issues on the on the way, and I also think that there's um, I don't know maybe a, uh, I'm gonna try to mess with that core things to. Um, not allow the player to 
possibly land up here as well, which would be pretty scary, I, I imagine. Okay. Where are you guys coming from? Um, I guess, I mean, if you did land up top here, if you went down the other way into it, you could gain access to the core really quick on where it's at. And, you know, um, maybe, I mean, if you're not familiar with the POI, you probably wouldn't know that. But if you have encountered it already, then you would know that. But I'm going to say the complications of that are a little, little tricky. But I'm kind of seeing after you clear off the turrets, you could land SV in this location here. It's a little more challenging to land it on the crane. Oh, there you are. Eh. <laughs> oh, I ain't a spider. Never know what you're gonna find in here. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you, uh, if you got any suggestions or comments on the POI, obviously it's not finalized yet, but it's uh, it's certainly getting close at this point in time. Uh, one last thing, I was gonna try to get some more damage blocks in here. I know I keep on saying that. I added a few more, but uh, there's a lot of areas that I can't add damage blocks on because there's no not damage blocks for the new block shapes. So, like, I'm using a lot of the new block shapes for uh, uh, several of the walls. I did get in some damage blocks here and there. I didn't want it, like, too crazy. The damage blocks are far weaker than the standard uh, armored concrete that this is built out of, or combat steel, for uh, some areas that have the texture lights or certain textures on them. Um, but, yeah, this just it, it was a fun base, too, and I like all this little weird stuff I just pulled off and by the way you can put ladders vertically like this too I'm sorry horizontal um, and uh, that works you can walk across them I uh, that was kind of an experiment too I wanted to see if that would actually do what I wanted it to do which gives me some options for potential new things that could be done that way too um, and I did put a name on here too I um, since uh, with the lure with this is the scar didn't build this the scar took this over as it wasn't even completed when they did so it never became a full-fledged what it was supposed to be a geothermal power plant um and they just kind of took it over and yeah um used it as a building base kind of little little city fortress kind of thing um but anyway, um, hope you all have a good day and a good weekend. Also, uh, this Sunday, I plan on doing a uh, Let's Play with Excalibur. Um, so I'll probably be recording that as well, too. So you can see how stupid I actually am in, in gameplay. Um, hopefully, hopefully, I'm not that bad, but um, I don't know. There's, uh, I had a little bit of a practice with the gameplay. I know kind of some do's and don'ts. Um, one thing, a uh, valuable lesson I learned there is don't uh don't haul a tier one uh 14k storage miner to a moon with a tier one sv with hardly any lift thrust um you could get it there you just can't get it back <laughs> um kind of a problem um so yeah there are uh some little things there but um anyway you all have yourself a good day and i will uh see you later